You guys asked for part two, so here are 10 more Premier Pro tricks you can watch while doing your business in the bathroom. Trick number one. So here you can see two clips of a car and I want to create this beautiful speed ramp transition. To make this transition look optimal, make sure both of the shots are moving in the same direction. As you can see, on the second clip, the camera is moving to the opposite direction. To fix that, right click your second clip and choose speed duration. Then in this window, make sure reverse speed is checked. There you go. Now it's time to make Make the transition more smooth and that's where trick number two comes in speeding up your clip using time remapping unfortunately when you reverse a clip speed ramping doesn't really work now a quick fix is to right click the clip you reversed and then choose nest now if you right click the effects button go to time remapping and then choose speed this speed graph will now work exactly the same as on any other clip don't forget to enable the speed graph on the first clip as well now to time remap your clip simply hold control and click the speed graph to add a keyframe. Then drag the keyframes away from each other. Next, click and drag the line on the right side of the keyframes up. This will speed up the clip on this side. Then in the middle of the speed curve, click and pull the levers to ease the animation. This will make your clip speed up gradually. Do the same thing on the nested sequence and there you go. To spice things up, drag an adjustment layer on top of the animation and make it the exact same length. Then find the Gaussian blur effect and drag it on the adjustment layer. With the layer selected, go to the effect controls and move the player to the middle of the animation. Then set the blurriness to 100 and set the blur dimensions to horizontal. Then set a blurriness keyframe. Now move the player to the first frame of the clip and reset it back to zero. Then do the exact same thing on the last frame of the clip. Now we're gonna make the animation so much smoother with trick number three advanced keyframing. Instead of easing the keyframes, you can actually gain much more control by expanding the blurriness velocity settings and pull the levers of the first keyframe to ease the animation out. Then pull the lever of the second keyframe to ease the animation in. There you go. That looks super cool. Trick number four. Stop doing boring and repetitive editing tasks and start spending more time on doing the creative stuff. For example, stop cutting away bad takes out of a recording. This takes hours, but who's gonna do it for you? That's where Gling AI comes in. This is the best software that cuts away silences and bad takes for you in just a few seconds. Just drag in your video recording like this and then you can choose which features you need enabled. Then click on enhance and edit and when it's done simply save your file as an XML and then you can drag it in the timeline like this. And here comes the best part. You can still edit your clip exactly the way you want because your entire recording is still here. Also in Gling you can do so much more than that. You can for example enhance enhance your videos by adding automatic captions. You can fix jump cuts by zooming in and out and lastly you can also remove the noise from your audio and it actually works really good. You can also set the pace of your videos. For YouTube tutorials I always choose a fast pace. It works incredibly well and it's super super accurate. This is easily one of the best investments you can make as a video editor. I mean it saves you so much time. I'll leave a link for you guys down below. Thank you Gling so much for sponsoring this video. And now trick number five, mask tracking for color grading. So I want to make this person look more alive in this video, but I don't want to color grade the entire clip. So once you have Lumetri open, make a small adjustment. For now, it doesn't really matter what. Then go to the effect controls and make sure the playhead is on the first frame of the clip. In the Lumetri effect, click the pen tool to create a mask and go to the program monitor. Then draw a mask around the person's face. And once you're done, go back to the effect controls. Now click the track mask forward button and wait until Premiere is done. Now simply increase the mask a little and then go back to the Lumetri panel. Create the adjustments you want to make on your video and as you can see it's only being applied to the inside of the mask or in other words her face. That is amazing. Trick number six. Play audio while scrubbing. Some editors love it and others don't. Well you can actually turn it off if you want. To do that go to the edit menu on top and find preferences. Then click on audio. Now in this window find the play audio while scrubbing feature. If you don't want it, make sure it's unchecked and click on OK. There you go. Trick 7. Add effects to the source. So I have this entire studio recording and I have my color grading Lumetri preset right here. Now I don't want to apply this effect to every clip separately. Instead, select one of your clips and go to the effect controls. Then in here, go to the source tab on top. Now you can easily drag and drop your effect into the source window. The effect is now applied to all your clips at once. There you go. 
Trick number eight, use the warp stabilizer. This can really save your footage if you have a shaky hand. All you need to do is go to the effects library, then look for warp stabilizer and drag it on your clip. Now let it do its thing and once it's done, your clip is fixed. There you go, that looks amazing. Number nine, using rulers to create amazing match cuts. I already mentioned this tip in the beginner version of this video, which is why I waited till the end of this video. So if you already know this trick, you can leave now. Goodbye. If you want two clips to match perfectly, try using guides. First, make sure the rulers are enabled. Then on the clip of the earth, drag the guides out of it and create a box around it. Now move the player to the last frame of the first clip in the timeline and select it. Then in the effect controls, adjust the scale and position so that it fits in the box. There you go, a perfect match cut. Number 10. Become so much more successful with these 10 editing tricks right here in the next lesson. Thank you guys so much for watching.